Hey there productive people, in today's video I'm going to be sharing a simple way to create a habit tracker in Notion. And the cool thing about this habit tracker is it's going to automatically populate a new day every single day so that you don't have to go in there and manually add a new page for every day. This is going to be a very bare bones tutorial, very simple, but I just wanted to share this use case with you guys because it's something that I have personally been excited about for a little while now. All right, let's jump into how to build this habit tracker. So this habit tracker is pretty cool. It will also have a bullet journal option. So that's going to allow you to fill out different prompts every day. And the nice thing about this habit tracker is it's automated. As I said, like every single day, it's going to populate your new habit. And then you can even set up automations with something like Zapier if you want to, to remind you to fill out your bullet journal and to check off your habits. I can show you guys how to do that in a future video if you'd like. Comment below if you want me to show you how to set up an automated text reminder for whenever you get a new page generated in Notion. Anyways, let's jump into how to build this. So we're gonna start out by creating a table database and I'm gonna hit new database and habit tracker is an okay name for this. So let's just stick with that. And then let's add an icon. Uh, let's just go with the mountains. I'm actually going to name this first column here, journal entry. Now, the reason that I'm naming this journal entry is because this is where you're going to click when you want to enter your daily journal entry. And this is optional, as I said, but I'm going to show you how this comes into play in a moment here. I'm going to delete this tags option. And then we're just going to hit the plus button and we're going to select checkbox. So however many habits you want to have, that's how many checkboxes you're going to add. So this is where we're going to enter our habit name. So I'm just going to go uh, workout for 45 plus minutes as one of my habits. And for the next one, I'm just going to add another checkbox and we're going to go with meditate for 10 plus minutes. And then finally, I'm just going to add one more fill out your bullet journal. All right, now we have our habits created and you can check these off as you complete your daily habits. But how do you know what day we are on with this particular database? Well, you're going to want to create a created time property and you can just name this date. Okay, and what this is going to do is it's just going to enter the day, year and time that this was added. So we're going to drag that to the front. We're going to drag the journal entry to the right side here. So this journal entry will just serve as a button for us to click on to open said page and then we can enter our uh, journal thoughts here. So let me actually show you how to create the recurring daily automation for this habit tracker. First, let's just name the table habits. And now let's click on this new button in the upper right hand corner. You're gonna click new template and we're just gonna name this add journal entry. So the reason we're naming it add journal entry is because we're actually going to open up a new journal entry when we click on this button. And I'll explain that later. You know, you don't need to worry too much about why I'm naming this add journal entry but some of you may already kind of understand where we're going with this. So I'm going to add an icon for this page and we're gonna do a pencil since this will be the journal entry page. And I'm going to enter a few prompts for my day. So these can just be like bullet journal prompts, things like, what is your mood today? And you can answer that below. Uh, another one that I'm going to do is, uh, what are three things that you are grateful for today? And we can even enter like one, two, and three so that you can uh, enter what you're grateful for every single day. And you can add as many of these prompts as you want. Um, what is something you want to complete today? And you could actually even set this up where you have like some check boxes that are pre-populated, right? So to do that, you can just do bracket and then bracket and that will create a to-do list. Um, so I'm just gonna write item one, enter item two, enter item three. 
So a lot of people say that it's good to stick to like three tasks for the day, or you could even have one task if you wanted to. But these are just things that you can check off throughout the day and you can change what it says here, like maybe finish website project. But for now, since this is just the template that we're creating, I'm just going to call it item one. Okay, now what I'm going to do after I have all of my journal entry items listed out here is I'm going to click out of this window and then I'm going to click right here where it says edit this template. We're gonna click on repeat and I'm gonna click every day. And you wanna make sure that it repeats every day at a time that's early in the day. I'm just going to change it to 5.30 p.m. because it's about to be 5.30 and then I'm going to hit save and if you watch here, just wait for it to populate. And it's 5.30 now. And boom, it populates right in. So I can actually drag this out so that this add journal entry button is a bit bigger. I'm gonna delete this row here. And now we have this automatically populated habit tracker. And what we can do is, since this is going to populate at every day, for that time that we set, we can come in and we can check these off as we complete them. And we can even open up this journal entry. And every single day we can write down three things that we're grateful for. And we can also write down some things that we wanna get done for that day. And there we go, we've completed our first day. And if you ever wanna change anything about that template, you can just click up on that new button, click these three dots, hit repeat, and then you can change the settings here for the time that this populates, for instance. Since I just wanted to show you that example, I set it to 5.30, but we could set it to 5 a.m. so that tomorrow it's going to actually, um, it's actually going to bring this next journal entry in at 5 a.m. And then I'll be able to uh, fill it out once again for that day. And the nice thing about this being automated is every single day that you don't complete or you don't jump in here, it's going to just basically be blank. And you'll notice that, you know, you're just not completing that task because it's blank. You know, you haven't checked things off. You haven't added your journal entry. So you'll be able to get a really good visual idea of if you're actually following through with these habits. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment below, let me know your thoughts. Are you gonna be using this? What are some habits that you're trying to accomplish? And make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications to keep up with more awesome videos like this. All right, we'll see you guys in the next one.